What is up, everybody? This is Recap Rewind. I'm Jay Lag, and I'm here with NB. And we are recapping and reviewing Versace, uh, the assassination of Versace, episode nine, which is the season finale, and it is titled Alone. So dun, dun, alone. Dun. So I liked it. You think? I I liked I it, and I'm and I'm waking an up. Episode. Yeah. I like the episode and I have to say I think I liked I feel like it gave me like this like closure to like the entire season. Right. Um it right. kind of like I almost finished it and I was like I understand why they they followed why him. They, like, did it the way they, they had did. no material. They had nothing else. Like the run itself lasted for like ten minutes. Like it was not even like right. You know what I mean? Like the right. whole like SWAT moment and the FBI coming in, like that didn't last that long. So I was like, I understand why they left this to the last episode because there's not much to, to really like show. To show. But um, yeah, I also really thoroughly enjoyed this episode, but I kept asking myself throughout the episode, why wasn't this episode three? Like, why wasn't this the beginning of the show? You know, because I feel like everything that I'm feeling now may have been stronger and i probably would have felt a lot more pain if it was at the top of the show i don't know i don't know if that like i don't know if i can agree with it because i think it is the end of the story like yeah it happens like in the beginning it happens sort of so soon after he shoots gianni but i feel like like to close out a season like how else would you end it do you know what i mean like you end off a character's death in the beginning and it's like at the end, what do you show? You know what right. I mean? Like it's like they had to show him killing himself at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I I really liked it. I feel like it was a nece- nece- a necessary part of the story. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, if I were to ask someone to watch this for the first time ever, would I tell them to watch episode one, episode two, and then watch the season finale, and then watch the rest of the show? Do you know what I mean? Like. There's this so much show, that is covered in this part of the in this part of the. It's epi- true. Like it's true. Episode, like they even that, could like, have I, like, they even could have like sent him to like the houseboat and then cut away from that whole like exactly. world. Exactly. But like they didn't even exactly. do that. They just like got had him in a car and then like from that car we didn't see him again till like the whole season. So yeah, and literally uh, every single moment and every single scene that I saw in this episode, I was like they 100 percent could have cut into these moments, like throughout the show. I don't know. Yeah. But they just I think, didn't I do think, that, you know? I think what, what we're good at, too, and what I enjoy doing when I watch a season like this, I try to look at it from, like, if I was writing this season, how would I have, like, written it and in right. what order? And, right. like, this season, especially for us, we've constantly questioned, like, the order of, like, the episodes and how the season unfolds. And I right. don't know if there's, like, a right answer because, like, you don't know what that's going to look like, but, like... I don't know. It's hard. I'm just but like at this point. I'm like, like okay, right guys, answer- you guys did okay. It's fine. Like you know, right. I'm, done. I'm over but it. But like the the right answer is the fact that we were frustrated for ninety percent of the the uh you know but the you show the whole yeah. season, and then you know you can't put that much onus and that kind of responsibility on just the season finale for people to stick around and be like, okay, but the season finale is going like, to really bring it all it's together. True. You know? We stuck around because we are like devoted fans. But seriously, right. if, I, if I didn't care, I would have like dipped by like episode four. Exactly. So that's what I'm trying to say is like, yes, it was a compelling part of the story. It was probably one of the most compelling parts of the story. But had it come at an earlier time, maybe it would have made me want to stick around and really understand what his like damage was what his psyche was and really try to feel for him by the end of the show yeah i kind of felt for him but maybe i would have felt a little bit more if i saw him fall apart as the show was going on you know there's a lot of riveting moments in this episode that i was like yo if i heard that from like the get-go i would have been like okay this is the mindset that i should be in like right what now to feel for him you know what i mean like, like what? even him getting even ronnie getting interviewed right like the guy uh that was like the druggie yeah like him talking about like being gay and like how he was on the outside and how he always wanted to be seen like 
those were underscores that I would have wanted to like get prefaced by and then watch all like these little moments yeah. where he tries to show that he wants to be seen, that he wants to have all this attention because we have these disjointed moments of seeing him go through his whole past and him, you know, seeking out love and seeking out attention. But at the end of the day, we never really felt those things because we never got to talk to anybody else. We never got to see them in an interview perspective until the very end. You know, like, well, because everyone else is dead. Come, well, that too. But like also like his friend even being on the stage, like, you know, coming on and uh, on the news and saying, like, you know, we don't see you this way. We love you. Like, we support you. Like, it's she true. Sees him yeah, in a yeah. different light. And like, why didn't like the entire time, literally the entire season, we were like, how is everyone not thinking that he's crazy? Because the rest of the audience is seeing him as a psychopath, you know, mm-hmm. and it's the way that they framed him in the whole show. But you know, if they started off with them saying like, oh, well, he's not that person. I would have never expected that from him. He's such a good person. Um, and then you see this guy, guy kind of break down yeah. as the episodes go on. Then because I in, the, been like, in the episode, oh, shit, he's like really fucked up, you know, in the episode, they do re- they, they do show you again the moment where he does shoot him. And it felt yeah. so much more powerful. Like, right. it kind of was like everything that led up to this one moment, the music that was on, that was there playing. I was like, it just hit me so much harder this time around because right. you've sort of lived with this character a little longer almost. I don't know. I don't know. So are you saying that you would have, you are okay with the way that it was all formatted just based I on I think I'm just okay to be that. done with it. I think I'm just like, thank you guys <laughs> for like a good season. <laughs> thank you guys. Yeah. No, it's funny because I was just reading an article like just right now and the producers actually admit that they messed up they were like we shouldn't have titled it we shouldn't have titled it this we understand that like a lot of people are upset because we kind of pitched it as like a versace show and that's not really what it was it was following andrew kinanin um and he's like in the future we're definitely we're definitely gonna have to think about our titling um more closely um and And maybe not tie it to like a celebrity like Like, they don't want to tie it to a celebrity necessarily which is exactly what they did and they did it on purpose so i'm really happy that they've come forward and like actually admitted to that and it kind of makes it all kind of like you know like i'm like okay thank you thank you because like you admitted to it because we felt like we were crazy this entire season exactly we we were saying the same thing all season harsh on these people like what's going on and like for them to actually say that, that's actually pretty. That's good. I'm yeah. Glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah. We actually got a an amazing. Somebody wrote to us. I'm just gonna call her Stephanie. But thank you for uh, emailing us um, at recap rewind podcast at gmail dot com. And she had something to say. So I'm just gonna read. And off I just want to quickly said. preface this with: I read her email before I watched the finale. And Same. it really changed my whole perspective. And this is why I love having this like commentary with our like listeners is because like she really did change my perspective and going into the finale with reading her email i was like okay i'm i think i'm seeing it like in a different way you know open dialogue like i can i can appreciate this right now like a a bit more so thank you for emailing us and letting us right read that but yeah go for it exactly so she says hey guys i've been listening to your podcast and you guys are so much fun thank you and I would like to offer a little perspective on the Versace murder and the OJ murder and what I think Ryan Murphy's going for. What both of these American crime stories have in common is that they unfold the same way they did when the public experienced them in real time. That's what makes them an American crime story. With OJ, the first we knew was that OJ was being chased in his car and then it was a media circus and a crime drama. What made the ACS great was that it was went behind the scenes a little to let us see the players that were involved. It's the same with the Versace story. The first we knew that he had he had been shot in cold blood in broad daylight outside his mansion in Miami. What the F? And then it was that person who shot him was some kind of hustler slash con man, WTF. And then we learned that the murderer had killed before. What the F? Because I remember the case, it's been great, great for me to get some insight into a person who did did these crazy things. There were so there was so much media that like that le- they left out or couldn't share. I agree a show all about Johnny Versace would be delicious, but as a crime story, it is all about Andrew. There it was no court drama, it ended in his death. I was disappointed then and it's a disappointing reality now, but it's not Ryan, Ryan Murphy's fault. He's just telling the story as we all lived it. So, first of all, like I said, off the top, thank you so much for writing in. I really, really appreciated that perspective. And it was very, like, you know, you never know what you're going to get from people when you 
going really hard and negatively like we have yeah, for this whole true. season so you never know if someone's gonna be like you guys are such bullshit you don't even understand so i really appreciate that you like broke it down for us and like weren't coming for us or anything so it was a really really interesting perspective to hear what did you have what did you think about it, np no i completely agree and and just her saying like we're kind of seeing it from the perspective of how um, the world saw it. I 100% agree with that, but I don't think the producers had that intention because reading like what, reading their interview and listening to them like explain it, I don't think that's what their intent was to like explain it like from the news perspective. <laughs> Maybe that's like right. their cover up story right. now to like justify what they did. But I completely yeah. agree. And if that was the case, and it is a case because I kind of like took that as I was watching, and I was like, okay, I get it. But then, like, why not, like you, you were saying in the beginning, then why not just finish a story from the start? Because we, we know from the newscast that, like, he does kill himself right away, right? So if right, we are right. watching it kind of as it's unfolding, we would have already known what's happening to him in the, in the first two episodes. Exactly. Instead, we cut away, exactly. we cut away, and exactly. then we go into all the victim stories. So right. there's a little bit of both. Um, and I don't know, it's hard to compare this season to the OJ season because I feel like it's really different. It's, it's really different. different. And, I, and I know that he really did something completely out of his, like, he he pushed the season to be very, very extreme and different. Um, but I just wasn't expecting that kind of different, you know, like the storytelling angle, um, him focusing really hard on the murder himself. And, you know, like it was very, um, yeah, I, I, I was really struggling with how he was, whether or not he was glorifying Andrew, there was a lot of issues that I had with the season. It's funny because like, yes, the season finale really like brought it all together for me. But I really struggled with the whole idea of how he was glorifying this basically serial murderer for killing five people. You know, right, right, yeah. It's funny because the right the producers too were saying how they were surprised that people wanted Versace more. I was like, how are you surprised that people wanted Versace more? You literally marketed it as a Versace show. Like, exactly. what do you mean? Like, of course, people are going to expect to see Versace and Penel and like Penelope Cruz and Donatella. Like, of course, people are going to want that world. You're literally pitching that to us. So for them exactly. to sit now and say that they were shocked at how many people wanted to see Versace, it's a little like, I'm like, okay, guys, come on. Seriously? Like, <laughs> you've been making tea for how many years? Like, this is not... It was insanity. Yeah. yeah. yeah but they were like also seeing... the entire season. Yeah, and they were also saying they're like, we didn't want to focus on Versace's world as much because we didn't want to um, go into that world, into that flashy gold like Miami world when like five people are like just died. Like, you know what I mean? That's right. what he, they were trying to say. Like, how are we going to cut to this like world of like gloss and like glamour and like? But this story is really about like the people that died and like the murder. So, what tone well, do we sort of take take it? But I don't yeah. really, I don't know how, how I feel about that. I don't know. I'm just trying to kind of like literally saying what they're they saying. They could have fixed, they could have fixed this entire thing by not marketing it as a Versace story. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. And I, and I, like, and that's exactly how they end off that article. They're like, yeah, we, next time we should title it differently. I'm like, yeah, yeah thank it. you. That's all it was really. Like, I know it sounds like such a stupid thing to say, but it was that, I mean, and plus, like I said, the, the idea of glorifying a serial killer, essentially, um, but, you know, I was reading a lot of things and I was hearing a lot of things. I think I even watched an interview with Darren Chris, and he says, you know, what's really different about Andrew Cunanan versus like a Jeffrey Dahmer or all these like actual serial killers that are known in, in American history um, is that he did have damage, that he did have a history, that he did have a story. He wasn't just born that way. Um, and I do think that they made a compelling uh, they, they did make a compelling case for him. Uh, after he said it and after watching the whole series as an entirety but at the same time I still something really doesn't fit with me right in terms of how I feel about someone getting having the justification for doing what he did because I just don't think that it's ever right like you never fall into killing five people like it's never yeah no never I don't I don't that, think yeah like, and I you are not that, you are not in a position as Darren Chris as the producers as the writers of the show to sit there and compare him to other like killers and rapists like you guys don't know any of these people you don't know what is in their psyche you don't know like and what their life has Andrew, been Andrew so you can't never, compare yeah, yeah like you don't even know andrew cannon like how how are you sitting there and and saying this about that you know like do you know him personally like, like no you don't yeah so you can't Everything make those assumptions 
exactly Everything again based off of what you know about the and case. it sucked right because like a lot of the episode again was very much like interpreted and you're sort of just like going with like what they've written right. for andrew right. for the episode um like the whole call with like the dad and like yeah i don't know I don't yeah know. yeah so instead of going through the entire episode because we haven't really done it for the entire show <laughs> this yeah. season um maybe we can talk about some of the highlights that you really like noticed um in in the show so it really so in the episode so it really starts off with him getting away with the murder and he hides out in this house houseboat right right and he pops a bottle of champagne i guess the guy the people that are living there are like away or something like it must have been like a rental or something i don't know i don't know what it was because who was the guy at the end that like came with the gun I thought that that was the guy that actually owned the place. Uh, I think he was like the around. landlord. I think he was like the owner of like the whole area, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, the point is he escapes to a houseboat. He tries to hide and out he, there. he like, holds himself up. Yeah. yeah, he holds himself up. But then at some point he like goes to the boat. Like he goes to like the dock area and like he tries to get into a boat. Because he can't get like because he can't take a car through the highway because they're checking for him. Right. Yeah. Or maybe so he was just going to live in the boat. But. Like, I think he was going to try like, to steal a boat so he can, like, sail off or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, that would have been smart, actually. I mean, yeah. I mean, it can he, can he even yeah. sail? <laughs> like, who knows? Yeah, so he so but, it's funny because I guess that really happened, too. He does walk into the boat, and then, like, one of, like, the boat neighbors, like, sees that, like, the boat's open. She's like, oh, she's like, are you here? Like, I guess, I guess like, they're friends. And she yeah. actually walks into the boat. And this must have really happened. Right. Um, she walks into the boat as Andrew was like hiding like in the back bedroom of the, of the boat and she sort of like tries to open the bedroom door and he what did yeah. he pull it like did he pull it back he yeah or he like he kind of pushed on the door while she was trying to pull it open yeah so and then he, she gets she like freaked out right away she goes and like calls the cops so then now the right. cops are like literally like at Andrew's doorstep like they're at like this whole yacht area the docks and like right. whatever well, the one thing that I kept booking was like, yo, this guy like really slid through the cracks so many times, like while they were trying to get rid of him or they were dramatizing it because they had to well, waste. And I think Ronnie, I his name is Ronnie, right? The, the friend. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He says it. He's like, they're like, was he hiding here for four months? He's like, uh, no, he wasn't hiding. He was literally living his life. Like you guys, what the F are you guys doing? Yeah. Like he was yeah. not in hiding at all. Like right. s- hearing right. him say those things again, I was like, yo, you guys are so waste though. You guys Actually. literally, like, let so much shit happen. But it also yeah. reminded me that, like, we missed a really big storyline with that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like... That's what I'm saying. They could have focused on that the whole season, and then they didn't. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, That's yeah. What, I mean. what happened That's to all like the cops? That's, like, an entire story in itself. Exactly. And, like, yeah. maybe that would have gotten tiresome. You know what I mean? I think even after the first or second episode of, like, making, like, the making the policemen like the lvps of the episode i was like okay maybe this is dude they made they made a court case last season for oj over nine ten episodes interesting af yeah they could make this somehow interesting like come on guys do you know what i mean like like they made court interesting yeah it's pretty crazy to think about and like yeah. they really could have broken it down like even the way that it like climaxed with him calling his dad why couldn't he cut in with him his dad's storyline and then like cut back to him like calling his dad and his dad ra- like baits him out essentially you know yeah like, they really could have formatted this st- story so much differently to make it a, a little bit more compelling is all i'm saying and that's yeah, just like yeah my director had kind of like coming and be like you know i just wish that you guys like framed it differently. yeah but so basically in the end guys he kind of just like gives up he sits in the in that houseboat right yeah. and then he's yeah. kind of just like chilling on the bed right and and then at that point they they know where he is so like fbi swat is like swarming around the place but i guess they're waiting for him to like come out or like negotiate and they've waited and he's not negotiating so they're like, they're like we have to go in now and they they throw the smoke bombs into the house mm-hmm. um and then they go in and and then by that point he he already shoots himself i didn't really like that scene where he where he kills himself i felt like it was very like it was cut awkwardly almost like yeah they like the cops didn't hear him shoot himself do you know what i mean yeah they're like oh he's they just stumbled and like he was already like dead right it would it would have been more like i think intense if like they were like coming in and like they heard like shots go off and they're like oh shit you know what i mean yeah i don't know i yeah i agree with you i definitely agree with you with his it was sad 
like seeing himself like as he walks into the bedroom for the last time like he sees his like kid self on the bed um right. and he looks at himself like it was it was, was sad emotional. yeah yeah but at the same time we don't know like if he actually felt remorse like how do you even know that he could have been exactly. like evers i'm piecing out like the i can't fall I for his storyline like, you know yeah the one thing that i kept trying to imagine was like was he going like because he was a drug addict too right so yeah like was he basically like a, like was he like tweaking out the entire time to even exactly right at the end? exactly like they make they paint him to be this person like i literally like watched that sequence and i was like i wonder what his toxicology report was when they did the autopsy on his mm-hmm. body like was it he like pumped mm-hmm. with drugs like who knows you know and that would have completely changed the way the story was told but instead we're made to feel remorse for his character because that's yeah. how they frame the entire story so yeah like that's what i'm trying to say is like yes you're telling a compelling story and maybe he is a compelling character and a and a very different killer but um the bottom line is he still did something wrong and maybe there should have been a little bit more realism and and humanity in who he was as a person and maybe he was a crazy manipulative person maybe he wasn't a good person and like that's just the bottom line you know like exactly like why are we making him an anti-hero i just don't i never yeah i think that's i think that's another big question that i would ask them too why are we making him into this anti-hero we don't know what he did in in those last seconds like you don't know that right and for you to go and speculate and create a whole season around that seems a little random to me and a little far-fetched like you guys chose it because it's attached to versace that's why but exactly yeah so i i, just, I, don't, I don't know uh I, I i can't keep hitting on the show so i'm gonna try my best not to but like, well we're we almost few, done so <laughs> yeah we're almost done we get a few more like key players um since we are finishing off the season that i wanted to talk about judith light aka um Lee yeah Mickens. what did you think about her coming back for the finale you know uh the one thing i wrote it down was when um i guess the police come and see her after they find out that uh, he's kind of wanted now, like he's in the area, and they make the connection that Andrew Cunanan also like killed her husband, so um, and then killed Versace. So they like go see her, and she's like, "You guys literally had two months to figure this out, and you like f- done fucked up." Like those were the moments that reminded me, like, "Yo, she's been like fucking pissed this whole time, and like nothing's being fixed." Like th- that would have been such a compelling story, to be completely honest. And I thought she really. Like, yeah, I felt like she was a little random, but I do understand where she was coming from. And it was really mm-hmm. worth seeing her angle of the story because I feel like she had the most compelling. Um, she did. She com- did. And I'm sure. Story in comparison. I'm sure she said all that to them, too. Like, I could, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, her last be- few lines where she's like, why didn't he tell me any of this? Like, it was so sad. That was one of the most. Yeah, that was actually like if we were going to do recap roundups, I would have said like that was one of the biggest moments for me was her saying that because I think she wasn't just saying like, oh, these guys are writing to me saying, like, of course not. He saved my of life. It not. was like she was like he was gay and he never he was gay. Yeah. 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 So the way that the show is written, they have so many amazing moments. Yes, they're not. They're likely very highly dramatized, but I was still feeling it so hard in this episode because you like you kind of felt her pain. Uh, Judith Light, I think, is a fantastic actress. So like just Mm -hmm. watching her kind of break down and not break down, you know, like she was she holds her own in this in this show. And she um, she plays a character that is um, conflicting herself with being human. And, and you know, Ryan Murphy. Yeah. Anytime he anytime he can tell like an old woman story. Yeah, he exactly. will, right? It was a beautiful and like, story. Yeah, and the fact that like she had to hold it together because she was a TV personality, even though her husband was like tragically murdered, like it was such a compelling part of the story that I was not mad at the fact that they like, brought her back for the season finale. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you think about it? No, I loved it for sure. Um, I loved it. It was. It sucks that like not everyone else got that kind of chance, but I guess the other right. guy's dad like was talking to her on the TVs. But I think that's the thing, too. Like, I, I would have wanted to see that kind of aspect of it, too, because they yeah. really framed David as as a big culprit in it, too. And I wonder if um, if his name was ever properly cleared uh, in, in the whole thing, in the whole thing, you know? Yeah, Because they said that he was like, it's like yeah, like, how do you know? Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't was, believe like, that they said it. that. But yeah. like, you also have see, to like, even showing that 97, you know? 
even showing that i think that's why they're showing you that right they want to show you that like look at how the world was at that time like just because like they're lovers or they were lovers in the past they're assuming that like now the guys are gonna accomplish like he's killing people with andrew it's like you guys what are you guys saying like he's like a gay deviant we don't know what's going on with them like the fact that they just didn't understand the gay world was very very apparent once again in this episode just showing that there's such a shroud of mystery and like um you know this negative this negative mindset on the gay community in that time period that you really see it on this public sphere where you know they really pitted um versace who had this kind of like quote unquote like gifted life that like golden flashy life where everything was made easy for him yeah he was gay but he was also um a fashion designer and he was successful and then you see this like complete contrast with like how Andrew was trying his whole life to to basically mirror that and he just mm-hmm. didn't get there. Mm-hmm. Um, so like that's and that's what I mean. I would have loved to see a little bit more of that um, honest contrast in the beginning of the show. You know, mm-hmm. agreed. Uh, speaking of Versace, the one of the last main pieces that we see in this, I guess, trilogy of storylines in this last fin- uh, season finale is um, the story with Donatella and the story with. Uh, the guy, uh, the boyfriend, I forget his name, Antonio. Um, yes, yeah. Re- played Ricky by Martin. Ricky Martin. So, what did you think of how that all kind of went down and where it all went by the end of this the episode? I mean, at that point, do we really care? Like, like the story's done. Like, do I really right. care what happens to Ricky Martin's character in real life? I mean, not really, yeah. because you guys didn't even show him at all, like barely in the whole season. Like, yeah, he was, like, like I don't really there. care for these characters. I don't know if this is actually what went down in in the closed room between the two of them. Yeah. I don't know. I just couldn't. I really couldn't get get into it. Like even when he tried to kill himself, I was like heartbroken for him. Right. But I'm also like, like, I don't. I don't know. Just like I don't know. Like go live your I mean, life. I care. Like yeah. Like, I mean, I care. Yeah. Like I don't really. <laughs> I I don't really feel for them at this point because yeah, we didn't yeah. spend the entire season with them. Yeah. I mean, I think that one of the more powerful moments are seeing donatella like really break down when it's after the funeral and she's back in italy and she like confesses to i guess one of her uh like one of her friends that he called her on the day that she i think that's her husband he, oh it's her husband okay yeah and he yeah says, that was a sad scene been, too like a really like tragic moment where she says essentially like he called and then she didn't pick up the phone the second time yeah. and then the next thing she knew he was dead um, it was a really powerful moment. I think it's like one of those things where it's like, I think love everybody that you love, you know, like it was. A really I think what's even more sad. powerful, though, and it was really, really sad was when it was his funeral and they were in church and um, she was bawling and yeah. the priest and so was Antonio right beside her, basically. And the priest just goes up to her and like grabs her hand and like kisses like her. And I'm like, wow, like he as a lover, as as a man that was standing by him his whole life will never be acknowledged. Yeah. You know, like his yeah. his grief doesn't matter because struggle, their relationship yeah. isn't even a relationship in the church, you know. Right. So like, like even seeing, seeing that, that contrast the right there, like been... he was just crying like, yeah, I know. Totally. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. But like at the end, it was really sad, too, because I'm like, wow, like he's his grief doesn't even matter. Like, you know. Right. Um, And. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of like the end of the whole show and episode. All in all, I think that like, you know, like I said, this season finale really brought it all together for me. Um, mm-hmm. Do I still have gripes about this, this season? Yes. Do I still feel like they could have framed it differently? Yes. Do I think they could have titled it differently? Absolutely. Um, but all in all, it was like really well done, really good acting, um, really beautifully like shot and obviously mm-hmm. all that kind of fun stuff. But yeah, it's done now, guys. So you it's don't have done. to hear us like, complain about it for the rest of the fucking like time. <laughs> yeah. um, a part of me kind of wants to rewatch it, um, but maybe not right now because I'm like too fresh. But yeah. maybe at some point in time, like rewatching it and seeing if I can appreciate it a little bit more. Um, now that I know this back end of the story to see if I can like appreciate those moments with David. Um, you should watch it like in the order that you wanted it <laughs> so you should exactly. watch it from like you should watch it from like their individual stories and then when he kills Versace and then yeah, the season finale exactly. you should watch it like that legit that's how I kind of want to do it like, yeah I know someone who like hasn't watched it yet so I'm like down to like watch it with him again and yeah like, break it down that way I don't know we'll see 
Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us throughout the entire season for the people who have. Seriously, thank you um, because we were Debbie Downers for Debbie half the Downers, season. So, so freaking neggy. Thank you. Um, and uh, like I said, like this is the show's now finishing off, but we're obviously going to try to follow as much of Ryan Murphy stuff as we can because we do love what he does. But also, if you guys have any other shows that you guys want us to cover, let us know. You can email us uh, like Stephanie did at recap rewind podcast at gmail.com you can hit us up on twitter at recap underscore rewind or even on youtube if you guys find this on youtube or on itunes where you can also like and comment so make sure you rate us and uh keep us going because we really appreciate all of your guys' support thanks guys thanks for listening on to the next one yeah bye